While failure might sound like a bad thing because we've grown up to believe that only dull people fail, it isn't. The truth about failure is that we'll learn better because failure is a teacher that points out some of our mistakes and also tells us what strategies we shouldn't try out in the future. Benjamin Disraeli, a British politician, said, All my successes have been built on my failures. According to Henry Ford, failure is simply an opportunity to begin again, this time more intelligently. However, Sometimes, failures can be avoided if we understand how best to handle some situations. In this video, I'll share with you 9 reasons we fail in life and how to change it. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. Number 1. We don't set clear goals. I'm pretty sure we know the importance of setting goals. But I doubt that we understand that in setting goals, we have to make them clear and specific enough. For instance, say you want to become a top chef someday. You don't just write it down that way. Instead, specify what kind of chef you would like to be. Whether you want to be known for local or international dishes. What type of people you would love to serve your meals. And the variety of dishes you would like to cook. Calorie deficiency meals or otherwise. Imagine putting down a goal that's as clear as this. It'll make it easier for you to pursue your goals, even when it seems tiring and discouraging as a result of some of the obstacles you might encounter because it's pretty specific. You know what you want to do. Orison Sweat Madden, an American inspirational author, said, All who have accomplished great things, have had a great aim, have fixed their gaze on a goal which was high, one which sometimes seemed impossible. Also, according to Zig Ziglar, a goal properly set is halfway reached. So start by setting clear goals. Number 2. We fail to plan. It's one thing to set a goal. It's another thing to develop plans that can help you achieve your goals. Pablo Picasso, a Spanish painter, said, Our goals can only be reached through a vehicle of a plan in which we must fervently believe and upon which we must vigorously act, there is no other route to success. In creating a plan that can help you achieve your goal, ensure that you spell out every step-by-step -step action needed to accomplish your goals. For instance, instead of saying I'm going to exercise for 45 minutes tomorrow morning, you can create something that looks like this. By 6 a.m. tomorrow, I am going to the gym to work out till 6.45. I'll start with steppers for 10 minutes and then move on to treadmill for another 25 minutes. I'll finally end my session with 10 minutes aerobics. Now, how does that sound? It sure sounds like a plan to me. To set a plan like this, you must have to set a clear goal like this. I want to lose 5 kg of extra fat in the space of one month. Don't say my goal is to lose weight. That's too vague a goal to set. Number 3. We lack self-discipline. Another reason why we fail is that we lack the self-discipline to follow through our plan. Discipline takes self-control, sacrifice, and avoiding distractions and temptations. It means staying focused. Discipline doesn't mean being a perfectionist. It means being able to do everything necessary to accomplish your goal at the right time. It means being able to overcome procrastination temptation and distraction because you are determined to achieve your set goal within your set deadline. Jim Rohn once said, discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments. Number 4. We want too much too quickly. Most of us want to achieve a lot of great stuff, so we set challenging goals for ourselves. Unfortunately, we fail to realize that we need to start by taking baby steps before we eventually get to the top. Most times, we want to get it all as soon as we set those goals. As a result, we push ourselves too fast and too hard. You see, the problem of expecting too much from ourselves at once is that we quickly become discouraged because of a lack of results. For instance, we say we want to lose 20 kg of extra fat. Instead of realizing that you can only achieve that goal quickly by taking small steps daily, we want to get the result in a couple of days. So, we set a goal like this. Lose 10 kg in 2 weeks. 
Start by running up the mountains for 2 hours every day and eat only salads all day long for the next 14 days. When we set this kind of enormous expectation within a short time frame, we are likely never going to achieve that goal. Number 5. We don't persist. Calvin Coolidge, an American politician and lawyer said, Nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. The slogan, press on, has solved and almost will solve the problem of the human race. There will always be challenges on your way to success and the only way to overcome is to persist. Until we realize this, we may never be able to accomplish our goals. Number 6. We have low self-esteem. When we have low self-esteem, we will keep trying to find ourselves rather than creating the person we want to be. Even if you have failed in the past, do not label yourself a failure. Otherwise, you might not be willing to give it another try. Remember what we said about failure, it's only a teacher. So don't fall into the temptation of thinking you can achieve anything significant. Number 7. We give too many excuses. No one gets anything done if all they do all day is to make excuses and avoid taking responsibilities. Instead of making excuses about your failure, think about what might be responsible for it. The sooner you face these reasons, the sooner you can get back on track to success. Number 8. We fail to network and build strong relationships. Have you ever heard this? Your network determines your net worth. Well, this statement is true. Being around the right set of people can influence your life positively. It can also help you secure the right connections to accomplish some of your goals. So, start hanging around people who can influence your life positively. Number 9. We give up. It's never over until we stop trying. You'll only be a failure when you stop giving it a try and quit learning. Sarah Desson, an American novelist, said, Anyone who attempts is not a failure. Also, according to Robert T. Kiyosaki, losers quit when they fail, winners fail until they succeed. Giving up is never an option. Keep moving. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.